Tag TV and Tag Radio be seen and heard by both technology users and technology producers throughout the state of Georgia and around the world. Low cost, big benefits, powerhouse online branded video and audio has arrived. Tag TV, Tag Radio, there's a lot more to know. This edition of Tech Talk is brought to you by Globalspeak.com, new media consultants, corporate video and audio communications, video and audio production and distribution, live and virtual event production. Tag TV and Tag Radio is a service of Globalspeak.com, creatively delivering powerful marketing, video, and audio solutions. Your vision could not be more clear. You're going to be the next technology game changer. Or maybe you know someone with the talent and dedication that will make a difference in technology's future evolution and innovation. You know, the aspiring CIO thought leader that knows how to not only make things happen, but how to get them done right. Right on time, right on budget, right when the market is ready. If you are or if you know an aspiring technology leader about to take the next big step in his or her career, then the tech, then this Tech Talk is talking to you. Greetings, everyone. It's Tuesday, November 30th, 2010, and this is Tech Talk with Technology Association of Georgia President Tino Mantella. When you think of the world's leading universities in technology innovation, sure, a number of brand names come to mind, but I'll bet you didn't know that right here in North Metro Atlanta at our very own Kennesaw State University is the home for the International Center for Technology Innovation, ICIT, leading the world's research in Internet adoption, understanding consumer behavior using the web, and in the global evolution of mobile devices. Up to the Tech Talk, Tino speaks with Kennesaw State Professor and Executive Director of the ICIT Research Institute, Dr. Donald L. Amoroso author of over 70 articles and proceedings, written five books, presented at over a half of a hundred professional conferences. Dr. Amoroso is also authoring a textbook and has been published in the Journal of Management Information Systems, Database, and Information and Management. A visiting scholar at one of Japan's leading universities and has served as an associate professor, Information and Decision Sciences at San Diego State University. He's worked with GE Capital and with Solista Gardner Group as a consulting partner. Donald has also managed the uh, Information Systems Department at the University of Colorado. As part of a stellar career working in government and serving in academic leadership positions in innovation, creativity, project management, technology, commercialization, leadership, and implementation for innovative technologies, he was inducted into the Who's Who Worldwide for contributions to international organizations changing the distribution of technology within the Pacific Rim. From the annual CIO Summit Forum early next year to an industry-setting research report of the future of mobile technologies to the work and achievements of the Kennesaw State's International Center for Innovations and Technologies, Tino Tech Talks with the IS Department Chair and the ICIT Executive Director and the driving force behind TAG's Kennesaw State Partnership and their highly regarded CIO Forum, Dr. Donald Don Amoroso. Don, thank you for joining me on Tech Talk today. It's good to be here, Tino. I'm very glad. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, Kennesaw State's a great partner of TAG's, and uh, so it's our pleasure to uh, talk a bit with you about uh, how we work together, but also uh, what the focus of Kennesaw State is moving forward. So I think a good place to start is talk about your role at the university. Well, thank you. Uh, Kennesaw State is really moving ahead in in the area of technology in the state, uh, internationally as well. And and I have the uh, privilege to serve as department chair for the Computer Science and Information Systems Department. And that department is fairly large, with uh, probably one of the largest in the state, with 25, 26 uh, full-time tenure-track faculty members with a variety of of, uh, expertise. And we really work together with Georgia Tech, Georgia State, UGA, some of the other big institutions in the state. So we've got a fairly large technology group of faculty and about almost 1,000 students in five degree programs here. So it's, it's it's, it's a great place to be, a lot of activity at Kennesaw State. Also, we have a brand new research center, which I'll talk a little bit about later, hopefully, with you. But the new, the new research center is, is, has just been approved recently, the International Center for Innovation and Technology. 
So this center, uh, the objective is that we would reach out to international uh, organizations, corporations, uh, and other centers and other institutes in the United States and in the world to look at innovation and technology. So I'll talk a little bit about that later, hopefully. And also, you know, I guess I have multiple jobs here, so I don't know if that's good <laughs> or bad. But also the, uh, the, the Japanese initiative has become a, a major university-wide initiative, and I'm, I'm – Ha having doing research in that area, going to Japan frequently, um, I've, I've been director of that initiative for Kennesaw State University, and, and so we have a lot of stuff going on, in, as you know, in uh, with Japanese corporations in Atlanta here. I think we have over 400 uh, U.S. headquarters, and so we're trying to make contact and, and, and really provide a good central point for the launching research partnerships, collaborations, and so forth between Japan and U.S. So it's, it's pretty kind of it's pretty exciting. Is the International Center? Let, let's jump into that. Uh, is that sure. something new for the university? And uh, when you say you're focusing on innovation and technology, I'm sure our listeners would like to hear more about that as well. Well, I think that's pretty. Uh, thank you so much about that. Yeah, centers are not new for universities. Of course, we have uh, a lot of different types of centers in different colleges here at Kennesaw State as well. But this center is pretty new, and I think innovation is you know one of those really cool words you hear a lot of companies using. You hear IBM discussing you know innovation as invention and ideas and di different kind of formulas for that. But what we've discovered here at Kennesaw State is that in our field, in information systems across different companies and industries, that innovation is, is different. And, and so the idea of studying innovation, working with organizations, particularly in Atlanta, but global organizations you know, around, the, around the globe as well, looking at building, using, applying innovative solutions, technologies, and looking within the regional community here in Atlanta, I think we're, what, we're, what we're really trying to do is work with some companies that are, are on the cutting edge of, of maybe invention or creating some new, uh, you know, some new uh, cutting edge breakthroughs in certain areas. So the, 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 the center then becomes a focal point for bringing it. To, the center's nonprofit, and it brings in a lot of benefits to organizations that are participating because they're getting the opportunity to work with other organizations, to work with our graduate students, to work with faculty that have expertise, cross-collaboration, um, executive training and certain kind of cutting-edge uh, software-type packages, and even things like developing research grants, fellowships, and, and those kind of things. So the center's kind of new. We're looking to really make uh, a... Uh, uh, a, you know, a collaborative effort to reach out to organizations and institutes in in the community, and s I certainly work with TAG to be uh, to be a uh, useful resource as well. Well, I'm sure it'll tie in nicely with our uh, TAG International Business Society. So, I know you're already participating in that from time to time, and uh, we'd like to get more involved with that. Yes. Um, switching gears a bit, you have a large project going in the mobile industry area. Uh, what's what's happening in that area? Well, I think this is one of the one of the projects Kennesaw State is is actually uh, working in the in the national arena. Uh, we we I, I've had the uh, opportunity to sort of work in Japan at this point, but the idea is that we're studying the mobile industry ecosystem. So it's pretty cool. We're looking at the large players, the the large carriers in the United States, and we we've we've made contact with all the the strategists in those companies. We're also working in Japan work with those carriers as well. And so over here, we're looking at Verizon, NTT, uh, AT&T, and, and uh, T-Mobile, Sprint, those large carriers that we're all familiar with that are doing a lot of, a lot of really cool things. In Japan, we're looking at NTT, Docomo, SoftBank, um, AU, those, those carriers. And we're looking also at handset manufacturers to see what kind of functionality is, is being provided in, in both cultures. We're looking at payment systems um, in, in Japan. It's pretty interesting uh, that uh, the uh, consumer can pay for the train and, and everything with their cell phone with, this, with the Sony Felica chip. We're looking at um, uh, application and content providers. Apple here is playing a big role in building an ecosystem, so we're, we're working a lot with Apple and infrastructure providers as well. So it, it, it's a big project. It involves um, uh, all of the universities in Georgia, the main universities that are research-oriented, are working in different capacities with, with us on that project. It also involves 
about 10 universities or 11 universities in Japan as well, some of the large, large well-known universities that you would be thinking about there. The idea behind the whole project, though, ultimately, is if we can bring uh, a set of recommendations to back to the United States to, to look at what does the next 10 years hold for mobile technology, where do we see the industry going in 20 years, where are mobile devices, what kind of, again, this ties back to the center in a way, what kind of innovation uh, development lab kind of work, what, where are the, the uh, places where we might see this entire industry going in 10 or 20 years. I think that's really kind of exciting and it's in a lot of, lot of interest from, uh, from different, different types of corporations that are, that are in this industry. So the industry, would, would that be your chief market in terms of conveying the, the outcomes um, in this area? I mean, what results are you, would you like to achieve at the end of the – is there an end to the research project? or? Uh, it looks like a four- or five-year project okay. at this point. We're, also, we're looking also at uh, uh, some grant funding, but which, which is uh, you know, pending, so we'll have more information later. We did get some grant funding in Japan. We're looking at procuring here, but – uh, I, I think I think primarily uh, this industry is it has it sort of a, a in the United States we're trying to figure out what do consumers need, and in Japan corporations are pushing out innovation to consumers, and it's sort of a push versus a pull strategy at the very high level in terms of both of these countries. They're they're in a way a little opposite in in their approaches, but I think at the end of the day there's a lot of interested players in this industry. Of course, this this would be uh, this, this would be a, one of the primary places where the recommendations would have some impact in terms of, for example, it, are we going to converge on one device in terms of uh, functionality? Is, is, are, are consumers still going to carry around five or six different, a camera, a uh, video cam, a game machine, have a GPS in the car? Or ultimately, will that all will that come down to one handheld device and will there be other mobile devices that are currently in development as well? So. I think primarily the, the recipients would be a lot of companies in this industry, in the IS, IT industry, but also probably uh, development companies and, and companies that are marketing products and services and business to sorts of organizations. So it, it could have a lot of far-reaching impact in the future. Well, before I let you go, uh, let's talk a little bit about how TAG and Kennesaw have worked together in the past, and particularly uh, one of my favorite programs and one that is gaining momentum each year because you guys do such a great job of putting the uh, putting the program together. I know you uh, you're the author of this program, so kudos to you as well. But so let's talk a little bit about the uh, the program for this the uh, CIOs or would be CIOs, if you will, and, and how that's going to work this coming year. Brad, thank you, uh, Tino. I, it's great to work with with Tag on this on this program. This, this the, what we what we really sensed was a need for uh, providing CIOs with a, a five week training program, about three hours a day, 15, 15 contact hours, working with both CIOs that may be uh, moving to different positions or want to skill, skill up, if you will. But also with aspiring CIOs, those those directors and and high level managers that are looking for this kind of a career path. And the idea though here is that is that by studying cases, by looking at some some key tools and techniques such as strategic planning, um, how do I work with positioning my organization in the company, and also positioning technology in the industry that we work in. Managing operations, how do I manage resources and budgets? Sort of some some real uh, core material that is 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 kind of cutting, uh, and but also need to know material. And also during these uh, uh, certification series uh, uh, sessions, we also bring in real CIO here and there to have a discussion with with the students to, to get them really affiliated with the with the program and really get the students walking out knowing the material getting the certification from Kennesaw State University and TAG and then feeling confident to go on to uh you know change the world so to speak as a CIO. So those listeners that are CIOs or would like to be CIOs or no CIOs that could take advantage of this program come to the TAG site and you'll Learn more about the program. Do we have a date when the next one starts yet, Don? That's we do. Is. We do. We're going to be running the next one on, in January 2011. That'll be J January 21st through February 18th. Great, great. 
So uh, thanks for uh, partnering with TAG and uh, for your information today, and we look forward to building the uh, the partnership as we move forward. Hopefully, as you gain more knowledge and respect to the mobile industry, we'll be able to have you or someone on the team uh, uh, come out to a meeting and, uh, and give us an update on that. Great. Thanks, Tino.